You're watching 120 Minutes here on this Sunday evening, and uh, as I've been informing you throughout the evening so far, I have been joined here in the studio by Ben and Catherine from Miranda, Miranda Sex Garden, and uh, welcome to the studio. Hello, Hi. ladies and gentlemen. Nice to have you here. He says with his stomach rumbling. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> now, the reason we've got you in is obviously you have a brand new LP out and about, mm -hmm. and uh, also you're about to head on some tour dates here in the UK and also later on in Europe. So firstly, what I'd like you to do is to fill me in, because firstly I was a bit surprised, firstly when you turned up yourself, Ben, because I always thought of Miranda Sex Garden as being sort of uh, an all-girl group. I think most people do, actually. Yeah, so you it's can tell funny me. you should say that. You can tell us all yeah. about that then, please. What, what, what's happening? I'm here to destroy that myth in the photographs <laughs> on the backs of the records and so on and so forth. Me and Trevor, the drummer, look like women. In fact, a lot of men want to shag us <laughs> more than more than the other girls. <laughs> and, then, and then they meet Ben in interviews, and so because a lot of we just done a like Germ German sort of promotion tour, yeah. and a lot of the um, interviews they say, "Where's all the women?" You yeah, know, right. I think that's half the reason they book some of the interviews, and they see Ben, you know, and it <laughs> yeah. really confuses them. They usually look sorely disappointed, actually. Right. So, for yourselves, I mean, essentially, how long have because the, the drummer and the bass player and everything all came together what for the the last was it last may the mini album or was it before when did yeah that i mean you? um ben and trevor have been playing this just over a year now right as you think so it's like a full-time project whereas the uh, the musicians and the singers are all part of what is a group now which is now uh -huh, yeah. yeah fully so integrated a fully integrated <laughs> unit i mean because again a, a lot of people felt surprised at the time that you were bringing in uh, sort of traditional rock instruments mm -hmm. into your sound. Was was there a resistance to that or um, was it a positive thing, would you say? Oh, well, I definitely think it's a positive thing. I mean, I think that to some extent we were sort of stigmatised, if that's the right word, you know, for being these lovely magical singers. I got a bit bored by that. It was getting a bit bland, you know, yeah. singing lovely pure music. I wanted to contrast that aspect with something a lot nastier because I'm interested in the, um, the conflict between sort of extremes. Mm. And also, do you, probably you felt there was limitations to what you were mm, doing when you first yeah. first started. Mm. But how about sort of fans of the group at the time? Were they resistant to introducing this new new textures or not? Would you say? Mm, I think this, we've probably got quite a few fans who bought Madra who are a bit annoyed that you, could, you know some of the lovely vocals are a bit obscured by guitars mm. now. <laughs> these, these rock musicians. It's taken yeah. off quite well. Live we go down really well. People really like it because obviously it's a lot more powerful. Yeah. I just imagine it would do. So we've got uh, an old video from you coming up, which mm -hmm. again you were you were a bit resistant to play. Well, it's not what we are anymore. Yeah, it's a bit. I mean, it's, we are almost a different band. We are, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's a completely different lineup, and we just happen to have the same name. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I think that's good to establish. So let's take a look at this.
gush forth my tears. Miranda Sex Garden and um, shall we say the old or Mark, Miranda Sex Garden Mark One maybe is the way <laughs> end up being because uh, we have a new sound really and, and you would say a, a new a new look to what you are as a group. Yeah, to me the old video looks like the result of a bizarre marketing accident. Actually, <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> But for yourselves in the, in the future, obviously we're talking about a tour and stuff. I also heard you, you're possibly involved with a, a Derek Jarman movie soundtrack. Is that right or not? That's the girls. That's yeah, the girls. Recently, um, he's just written um, a sort of some prose and poetry for this film called. It's either going to be called Blue or Blue Movie or Blueprint. I don't know which. Right. Yeah. And it's it's about it's about AIDS, about his disease, and we put some of his words to music. All right. With Simon Fisher Turner. Right, have you actually recorded that or that's yeah, something to be Yeah, we recorded that about a month ago. So that ultimately depends on when the movie happens for, yeah. for release for yourself. But I you, say so you, you talk about it, because do you, for yourselves then, you're now a complete package, you're a, you, obviously you wouldn't call yourself a rock band anyway. I mean, what would you call yourselves? What, what, somebody's I, always going to bracket you, what would you call yourselves? Well, I haven't, I haven't actually, I haven't thought about it. I mean, we've had a couple of cringy labels, like... The Americans apparently call us Madrigal Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a do bit, they do Madrigal Grunge? <laughs> I don't know. Which is a bit embarrassing, really. Um, I don't think, I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll redefine a category for ourselves. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I don't think we fit into any particular category. Though we get a lot of comparisons, like they can dance and cocktail twins. Yeah. Although never, we're nothing inevitable. like them, really, at yeah. all. Do you, do you foresee, I mean, you're talking briefly before the camera started running about the next single which is off the album uh, perhaps being a sort of heavier track as in the mm. mix of the song do you see actually sounds getting heavier or more, even more rockier or i think we'd like to get more intense right actually uh this is more of a it's more of a poppy tune right uh but it's just mixed a lot it's mixed a lot harder okay well we'll look forward to that one arriving look forward to seeing you on tour as well mm -hmm. as you head out around the uk and then europe will be in april i believe you're going over to yeah, beginning of that. We'll get the tour dates and let everybody know about that. In the meanwhile, we'll take a look at the current single.